Okay, so first, first question is from Secular Sakai, saying, Armin, the uh, NCRI, which I think stands for the National... Wait, wait, Th this is one of those questions that requires some context before we read the questions, okay? So the MEK, it's a terrorist organization that is against, um, it's an opposition group to the Islamic Republic of Iran. Yes, we are all against the Islamic Republic of Iran. However, the MK, we don't support the MEK. These are, this is a terrorist group that is um, fusion of Islamism and communism has created this cult. It's a very, very dangerous uh, cult that has been involved in um, acts of terror, but also mass brainwashing and like very weird brainwashing kidnapping. tactics of kidnapping. Um, you know, so it's weird. Like if you watch documentaries on the MEK, uh, they have crazy strategies and the crazy practices. But yeah, it's basically um, a child of Islam and communism, which is like, oof, like imagine what Islamic communist Islamic communist Shia Islamic communist. Shia, Shia. Islamic covenants, yeah, yeah, imagine, yeah, so yeah, that's what they are. All right, so with that context, let's read the question. Uh, Armin, the NCRI seems to be the political puppet political wing of MEK, and you would be correct. I believe the NCRI stands for the National Congress of the Republic of Iran. I can't remember, I, did, I didn't know that. Okay, okay, if, if that's but it is, okay. it is MEK, it is 100% MEK, <laughs> yeah, by okay, contrast. The okay. newer, uh, I think it's just titled the National Congress of Iran, the NCI, appears to be Reza Pahlavi's attempt to reclaim the throne of the Shah and supposedly one day institute a secular democratic what did you say? Sorry. monarchy what? in Iran. Wait, before you read that, what did you say NCRI stands for? The National Council of the Republic of Iran. Resistance of Iran. National uh, Council of Resistance. Still pretty close. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Impressive. Okay. Right. So, um, you know, there's that, and then there's the NCR, NCI, which is belonging to the Shah. He has also voiced support for Iran possibly becoming a presidential republic. Do you believe Pahlavi can be trusted? Should the Persian diaspora instead seek to form an inter alternative government in exile to these two, if any at all? So I was very excited for this question because it kind of gives you the opportunity to talk about some shah lover drama going on in the atheist public persian community right now yeah i'm getting you see to hear about i'm getting in uh, some trouble on the uh, an atheist republic's persian channel because i am like more openly uh, voicing my opinion against monarchy right um which a lot of people in iran support against the islamic republic of iran I basically tell them both Islam and monarchism as a thing of the past. Like most Iranians want, I think, a secular democracy. That's what the polls show. And we have to look into the future. Like a response to Islamism is not like something in response to something as backward as Islamism is not something else that is also backwards, which is monarchism, right? Like this is like not Game of Thrones. This is like a country that we're trying to manage. We have to look forward, not try to bring things to the past, right? So, well, you're muted. Yeah. I was saying monarchism is so cringe. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, I hate it as well. But you know who else agrees with me over monarchism being a thing of the past? Oh, Reza Pahlavi. <laughs> Reza Pahlavi. Okay, so these these monarchists in Iran have all their hopes and dreams in Reza Pahlavi being like the prince who one day will come and save Iran. But he himself, in, in uh, there was leaked audio that showed that he finds all of these uh, his supporters cringe, and he thinks like we we need to look like this is like think of a past and a, a backward way of looking at a, a managing country. So Reza Pahlavi, the monarch that everybody's hoping to come become king, he doesn't believe in monarchism. He believes in a secular democracy, and so so you know that audio. By the way, was so ruined these people like it devastated them because it must have just I mean, made 
to melt. <laughs> yes. So Reza Pahlavi doesn't believe in monarchy. So what are they going to do? Like, I don't know how, like, I, I keep asking them, like, your princess doesn't believe in monarchy. So who are you going to make turn into a key? Who's your other candidate? You have nobody. You have nobody. Right. But anyways, I do. I do like Reza Pahlavi. Um, if most of his opinions are pretty good. Except one time he said that he doesn't agree with insulting Islam. Um, so other than that opinion, most I, I agree with every, almost everything else I've heard him saying, including the fact that I, I, I respect him a lot more when he said that, um, when he came out and said that he doesn't believe this, this is like, this is like, and he, 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 he also showed some disdain for his like, blind followers like he called like he referred mm. to them as like sheepish or something like that right so pretty i mean <laughs> i am glad that he recognized that and secular seca is saying like it sounds like a guy worth learning more about yeah yeah so he, he's the son of the uh last last king of iran after you know more than five thousand years of history iran had only kings right and Right, Iran had kings for thousands of years until the Islamic Revolution of Iran. That was in 1979. Was the first time Iran didn't have a king, right? And this Reza Pahlavi is the son of the last king of Iran. It's pretty and wild. So, so, yeah, so many Iranians hoping that he will be the future king of Iran, but that's never going to happen. He doesn't have an interest in that. Do you think that any there should be an alternative in government, uh, alternative government in exile that should be formed? Um, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I think like I think it needs to be like these days movements need to be organic from bottom up. You know, I think top down approaches for revolutions are a thing of the past. I think. Yeah. Um, oh, this is good. Wait, Gossam is saying, uh, what? How do you say this? We call them Shahutu Ali. <laughs> I can't Shah say it right. Oh, we yeah, we refer to them as Shah. The, the, these monarchists in Iran, we refer to them <laughs> as Shahullahi because we make fun of them because they act very their the, the zeal and the how sensitive they are. Like they have made their. Uh, the symbols of monarchy they have made it sacred and they get they're very very sensitive about anybody insulting i don't know monarchy or the king or you know if you talk in you know if you say the slightest insult to any of the pa people in the pahlavi dynasty they just lose their mind right so just like we have ayatollahs in islam we refer to these people as shahullah shah meaning king <laughs> shah means king in farsi so it's just basically you know saying then you're you're basically just like these religious um ayatollahs yeah so and they hate it so they hate it's, it when we call so them shahullah funny. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah and also they call it they're they're coming up with their own term they're calling us atheist allah atheist allah <laughs> <laughs> what does that they're mean? Like, I don't know. they're like they're like we're they're saying we're being religious about our atheism so so. Oh my goodness. It just, I was laughing because I was thinking of the things that you, Armin recently had a very controversial guest on the, on the Persian channel and some of the things he has said against the Shah <laughs> and his family have been so wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and of, like, and so brass and crazy made me laugh so hard when you were describing <laughs> it. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.